have talked about this. Oof. Trying to figure out what we're going to do. We decided that I'll do half of the clipper work on this side. Right. Rudy, you're going to do the other half side. And try to, and try to match, try to it, match it. it. Try to match it. Let's see what happens. And then we'll go to the scissor work on the legs and the rear and everything, and then we'll move on to the head? Yeah, uh, exactly. You agreed to do the harder side for me. So oh, you. you're pointing that out. Thank you. We all, as groomers, have an awkward side. And yeah, both Rudy and I... It's usually this side. We have the same awkward side. Yeah, we have the... Yeah, so, but... But... We're going to make it work. We're going to do it. We're not worried. We're I told him I have the upper hand. This is actually my dog. I'm used to grooming him. So it's only right that I should take the side that's awkward to but both of us. Here's here's a testimony to Amy's grooming. He looks groomed already. So it's a testimony to how well Amy grooms his dog because he, he looks amazing just as he is. See? And... Anthony's proper bathing, yeah. brushing and drying skills yeah, yeah. made him look so good too. And, and Gus, because he's such a, he's a, he's, a, he's a beautiful specimen, let's just say that. Oh God. I'm using Rudy's Andis Clipper. This is the first time I've tried, this is the Pulse 5 Speed. Yeah. Is that what it is? I have never tried the Pulse 5 Speed. I've had many Andis Clippers, but not this one. I'm anxious to try it, just to feel it, you know? I have my favorite, you, all, you guys know I'm a Wall KM10 kind of girl. But I'll say this clipper feels great. With him, I'm going to start on the top line. And we are using a 5 8 inch wide guard comb. And these guard combs fit on the wide blades only. And we're using it on a 30 blade. He has a dip in his back. So normally I would start right behind the withers, which is right here. But I'm going to, I'm going to come back a little further and try to level out that dip a little. Did you see that just kind of did, didn't it? I'm just going to try to level out that dip a little. And then what I usually do is from then I come on an angle down the tail a little bit. And then I start taking off this angle from the point of hip to the point of rump. Start taking that off and scooping off at the point of rump. We're going to create a little angulation on him. And he is bony, guys. You're going to see that. But I'm still on the top of the dog, if you notice that. I haven't come down in here yet. So now from point of rump to about the bend of stifle, which is right here where the, the back of the leg bends. Scoop off at the bend of stifle. We're going to create just a tiny bit of angulation. There's not much to be created here with him, but I'm still on this dimension of the dog. I haven't come down on this side yet. So, or on the inside of the leg. I haven't touched that. So I'm scooping out right here, about below the bend of stifle. So we left a little point. Now I'm going to stand here. I'm going to start coming down and I'm not going to go into the lay of his leg. I'm going to graze. I'm going to drop off right into this leg hair and we're going to leave this. Rudy and I are going to hand scissor the rest of the dog. So we're going to come straight down and right about from there we're skimming. When I say skimming I mean I'm not moving in. I'm just skimming to create a straight leg. So do it in slow motion so you can see that. Then I'll come this way. Coming off the stifle. And that's all I'm going to take off with the clipper. That's it. So what we did we did the top line, we made this angle, we made this angle, and then we started pillaring our leg, basically. And then I came this way and dropped off right at the knee and did not go into the dog. So that's creating our pillared leg. Now what I usually do at this point, I set the back leg. I usually set the front leg. He doesn't stand right. He twists himself, so I often have to remind him to stand properly so I get in. See how he turned that elbow in? He turns the elbow in, and it, it's going to look great right now, but a minute later when he's standing normal, my groom's going to be all thrown off. Sometimes I will actually put my hand in here and keep that elbow out because he's so notorious for twisting it in. You're going to see that, Rudy. So you might want to... He does that when you're working there, he goes, yeah, yep. and it affects our groom. Of course. So I will keep my hand there on mm -hmm. his elbow. Yeah, so yeah. if I feel him do it, I press back against him. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to come down 
right about the shoulder. The shoulder's right here. We're going to start at the shoulder. And then I'm, now I'm grazing. I'm not going into the dog. I'm trying to create a straight dog. So I'm, at that point, I'm grazing. I'm not taking, I'm not going in. And this is, Rudy's at a little bit of a disadvantage because he hasn't done this trim on this dog. So I want to say that. If this were me and, and Rudy, this was his dog and this was the trim he does on his dog, he would be very comfortable with it. Me, I'd have to study more. What's he doing? How can I make that match? So that's what's going to make this challenging. So now I'm going to come right there below. This we're going to scissor in later. I'm going to come right below that swoop of the neck. This is still neck. And that's where I'm going to start dropping up. But I'm looking down the side of him because I just want to see straight. So I'm not taking everything. I'm only taking what's going to make this straight down the dog. And it's important to actually look at your dog like this sideways when you're working on him. Once you set that, you're set and you can go in and start working at it from a different angle. And then we're just going to blend this together. I'm not going to come in hard on this tuck up because I actually need to fill some of this in. His tuck up is really tight. I mean tight. Look at this. If I followed the tuck up, he would look like this. So I, I got to leave some hair. He, he's, he's not as perfect as he looks. <laughs> oh, I know. That's what everybody says. Quit picking on him. And now I'm dropping off about his rib cage. I'm not following this down because he is so narrow in here. If he wasn't, I could follow this around. But we're talking about this particular dog's body structure and that's why we're doing what we're doing with it. So that he doesn't look so pinched. And now that I'm standing here at this angle, I'm seeing I could actually go a little tighter right here just to smooth that down into the leg. And we can always tidy up some of this with shears if we have to afterwards. That's going to be the fun part. The clipper work can actually make or break your trim. Because if I went too tight and too hard right now, we wouldn't be able to fix that at all with scissor work. It's better to take a little less. And I do just, where a dog bends the front of their leg, I do accentuate that just a tad. And then we'll scissor the rest. So we have that side basically set with clipper work. Now I'm going to come around to the front. I'm just going to fluff everything up. Now I'm only doing half of his chest because Rudy's doing the other side. And we've been filling this in right here because I did have this kind of short mm -hmm. uh, right around up to the yeah. Adam's apple. Yeah. We're filling it in. So okay. we're, I think we're going to go right from jawline. Okay. All the way around. That's what we'll start. We'll leave that as head assembly. Mm -hmm. If anything, I would leave because from this perspective, he needs kind, it there. You kind of have this, and you want kind of. That. He does have a sunken chest, yeah. mm -hmm. so we want to leave this. So yeah. graze off here. Yeah, yeah. Just come in here mm -hmm. and tighten this up under there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's balancing the trim. Yeah. yeah. So let's hope I don't mess it up, guys. No. So tilt his head up. I'm going to come right under his jawline. And I'm going to scoop off like Rudy said. We can scissor this in. Mm -hmm. We can take off what we want with the scissor. It's important that we don't take too much right now. I can cut this in a little bit to show that little H between his legs. But this I'm going to leave. We will scissor that so that we know we don't take too much. And now looking at him from this angle, I can see what I can take off into that shoulder to blend this into the shoulder. Like we don't want to come all the way up here and start. We just want to graze a little and blend that together. So actually we are doing a lot of grazing on this, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'd say that's about it. What we're talking about is you get this shot here. You see this, Sam? 
Yeah. So leave a little bit of that chest. In there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so to pop that out, yeah. so that he balances with his rear. And this will go like right. I usually like the uh, underline to only be as long as his elbow. He has kind of a bad elbow. <laughs> he's he's not as long legged as he looks. It's fake yeah. with hair. Yeah. So if you look, his elbow really is here, but we make it look like it's up here to yeah. give him a longer leg. So I'm gonna go along with that pretend elbow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I just combed up and I see where I can actually yeah. trim more right here. Blend that down. In. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come along here, pretend this is his true elbow. I'm going to just pick this leg up. I'm just going to come up right underneath him. I, I didn't come into here. I'm just coming along the underline just to tidy up the underline. And, and so that's really it. I mean, as far as the clipper work, I would rather do the rest with scissors mm -hmm. and tie it together. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, the main reason why I'm at a disadvantage is because I have no idea what a benacarpal is. I didn't say benacarpal. Oh, uh, what did you say? I didn't, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever that is, bend I don't know what that is. So I, I hope, I hope I don't cut it off. Bend of stifle? Uh, the bend of, <laughs> uh, yes, a bend of stifle. So this is my first time using this uh, wide width. Is this where the bend of stifle is? The bend of stifle is, mm -hmm. the, the stifle is just another word for knee. Oh. So here's his front Couldn't of his knee. Couldn't say knee, huh, Amy? Okay, bend of back, <laughs> no, because the, because this is the behind the knee. So here's his knee. So the bend of stifle means it's where the leg bends. See oh, the crease? snap. See? Uh, That's why you got to listen to her. She know, yeah, the, uh, Now see how he's twisting? That's yeah. why this side gets a little cattywampus. You'll have to keep reminding him to stand straight or he'll mess you up. So, Amy started oh like right, right here. A little right? bit behind that because yeah. of his dip. So I'm going to yeah. come down. And I'm going to try to mimic what Amy did so that we, so that we, <laughs> that we look the same, right? And I really, really love the wide comb. I'm going to do what we did here. And then... Um, you did There's probably a hundred ways to do it. No, you, 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 do it. you did, you did something. You, know what you, you did something funny there that I kind of liked. I've never seen done before where you did this whole that, oh. which I'm actually afraid to do. No, it takes that. Sure? It takes that better if you come this yeah, way so, towards. Okay, I've never but done. But as long as you come down on an uh, angle and drop off like in front right of the here? knee. I've never done yeah. that. Yeah. And I, I think I came down a little low, but I'll well, just try to. You'll fix it. Yeah. This coat feels great, by the way, Anthony. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, Maybe I can put those on the work with. Press, press them perfect. There you go. Okay, so then... To See, this is where a lot of his flaws, you're starting to really feel them when you're grabbing them, right? Um, like, oh, yeah, that tuck up his pants, you know? Well, you know, I, honestly, I think he's... He's, he's perfect. He's, he's great quality. I think he's great quality. But he is. I just say it makes it hard to put certain certain patterns on and it's hard sometimes. You gotta leave a lot of hair in different places. Okay, he's standing there like it's cute. And like Amy said, see, oh, we don't want to dig too far here. Such and, a tight tuck up. Yeah, but I, at the same time, we're gonna try to even it out maybe a little bit. Yeah, you gotta find that so, happy medium. Amy, I'm gonna do something here only because, like, I know we're gonna scissor this. Mm -hmm. But what I like to do to save a little time sometimes is I'll 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 just start. Damn it! I'll just start a little angularly, you know, start like a little. I absolutely you agree. Know, just 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 to get a little guideline. Exactly. And, then, and don't those blades make it nice to skim? Yeah. I felt like that was one of the highlights of using these wide combs was the skimming yeah. abilities. Yeah. It's then, very accurate. 
Yeah, I mean, you could you could basically you almost could get do this with you the clipper. you can get a whole finish with the clipper alone. <laughs> Which is nice. You know, hey, yeah. We could do it that way, and then just tidy. Well, up. I, I I say we just to save time, only because do some of it. Only because Gus is really. It's been a long day. It's for been him. a long day for him. Maybe we'll just shorten up his grooming, right? Sure. Mm hmm. I may have come a little too low here, but... Oh, we can just match it on the other yeah. side. That's, mm -hmm. okay, so. that's what we have to do sometimes. Put it here. Yeah. See, he does have a room that right between his mm -hmm. breastbone sinks on both yeah. sides. Yeah, he definitely needed a little front there to pop that out, like you said. See, now the grooming arm's in the way. You know, no, we I'm can good. take this off. He doesn't no. need a grooming arm. I'm okay. Why don't we take it off? No, I'm good. But he doesn't need it. No. Iron Man put this on. You don't have to take it off. It. He's used to that. It's always there. So, I kind of came behind his ear a little bit, Amy. Um, well, to make it match them. <laughs> oh, only, yeah, I guess only or just only because the ear is going to kind of cover it. They are going to. And I, I, I like a real necky like standard. Yeah. Um, a tighter neck. Yeah, I, I kind of like like a nice like yeah. flat neck. Um, but I think, to be honest, uh, and you, you came this way with it, so... Oh, if underneath? I, if I came this way... That's okay, with those combs you can go either yeah, way. would that matter to you? No. It's not, uh, the, it's not gonna change. We're gonna, we're gonna scissor it up anyway, so... But, figure. I mean, I guess that's about as matched as I can get. What do you think? Yeah, well, it's matched to me. Pretty much. Your side looks better than mine. No way. The, your side the grazing better. and stuff, no, you, your, you tightened it up. Nope. Your side no, looks better. No, I can do better. Than <laughs> I should probably tighten up my side. No. Your Let side's awesome. I'll have to do more scissor work. Well, here. Tighten up your side. You want. It, it's really not tightening up your side. It's just... Oh, but it, it's like, oh, Rudy messed it up. Now no, I, it's now not. I, now we, I got to go back to We my... decided to take that little shortcut and do a little bit of grazing, and I think that that that's a good idea. Don't forget Like you said. Huh? The first dog that was right. It is my first dog ever. So we just graze along there and just sort of <coughs> take away a little bit of that scissor work that we're going to have to do. Okay. Do you yeah. think we should skim his front legs a little? We can. Um, I'll probably make, make a mistake. <laughs> well, where's your blade brush? Oh, I don't have. You just use your lungs. You're um, gonna end up with dog hair in there. I actually, I, I, I use a slicker brush sometimes, which I shouldn't, because I just, I just, I, I, here, I have a, I have a blade brush. You see, this is what I meant before, guys. If you ever want to feel like you don't know anything about grooming, just hang out with it. Where's your blade brush? We don't have one. We have a blade, blade brush. Yeah, blade what brush. What's what that? Do you mean a brush for like a blade? Is that like a, a blade? Is that a brush? Like, here, a brush yo. What's that? It's a brush that you put on the clipper and it brushes and clips it. This is a blade brush. Is Look. this your toothbrush? Yeah, but it's okay. I just, you know, it's, I use it to, 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 clean, uh -huh. to clean the uh, top. Well, I just think it's easy to unpack the Hey, man. <laughs> Especially with the guard combs. You notice this blade, these blades get very hot pretty Do quick. Do they really? Yes. And I think it's just, they're cheaper metal. So they're probably not going to hold sharp as long yeah. as a lot of other blades, but... No, but I, 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 I'll I, take it for the convenience. Yeah. If I was going to skim this, I have to push that elbow out. What he's saying is, we're, instead of doing all this scissor work, we're going to set some of these lines with yeah. the snap-on comb. Shorten up the grooming. Versus, up. yeah, all that time and effort. 
if you're already looking. So you're holding your arm extremely still. That looks really nice right here. But isn't it easy to do it with these wide yes. blades? Yeah. Take advantage of that, right? You're a great skimmer. You're a great skimmer. <laughs> to make him hold yeah, still, I am going to hold this leg out of the way. Because I know how my dog likes to move when you're doing anything with his legs. He doesn't seem and to you, mind it as much with, he, with the stem. You're right. You know, that, you know, maybe because it's taking less time, Here you go, your turn. it might be helping him out like a little bit, you know? I just think he likes that method more than when we scissor, mm -hmm. we're constantly coming up his legs, and he doesn't it's like okay. anything it's okay. It's okay. metal okay. or brush touching his leg either. Yeah, yeah. So he probably doesn't mind So like, see, see, what, see what Amy did right here? Like if you look at it from this perspective, it's like a nice line beautiful like coming from straight down. yeah coming straight down so I'm gonna try to do the same thing that's right you grab that elbow good for you because mm -hmm. he was about ready to turn it <laughs> yeah and I felt him doing it yeah a lot of See, times that's funny Rudy doesn't has never worked with Gus but he right away as a professional groomer he can feel what he needs to do to keep keep the dog in place so he can do what he needs to do in a nice gentle way yeah, and if you're, if you're going right here, you don't have to worry about it so much. It's literally just this spot right here. Yeah. So even as dog groomers, we, like, the, the, the slightest little areas are kind of... Oh, yeah, look, that looks you know, nice. You just took the tiniest bit off, but yeah. I saw the difference. It saves this, a little time. Say it does. You know, and it's less handling of the paw, of the, of the leg. That's so true. Maybe... A lot of times if you just let them have their way and then just go over it again. Yeah, oh, that looks real nice. Yeah, and then Amy, Amy did this thing up that side, so yeah, just grab a little bit of that. Yeah, and you know, we should probably kind of like leave this little bit because if we take it away, then like you got this big gap going. His legs are separated from his body now. Yeah, I see what you mean by the, yeah. his little elbow. <laughs> yeah, and look at here, guys. <laughs> see, this, this, uh, this, is, what? He's, he's creeping what, on you with we're, the camera. We're just, we're just demonstrating, <laughs> Gus. What, what, what? What, what, what? Anyway, back to grooming. Back to grooming. <laughs> grooming 101 with Rudy. Let's go. <laughs> he's looking great already, guys. Yeah, really does. Yeah. Looking That's good. A nice shower this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look great every day. Let's put it this way. Your hair looks great, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> I did this this time. Look at you. You're such a... For the occasion, right, honey? I did sleep at a Holiday Inn last night. <laughs> you think you're underneath his eyes? I do. Yeah. With him right now, since we you, uh, we had him in a in a like a Bedlington trim yeah. not too long. Well, yeah, we're still cool. growing it out. Yeah, yeah. So really, honestly, guys... I'm not sure, Rudy, mm -hmm. if we need to do any clipper work no, no. on his head. It looks pretty. I yeah. love it like this. If we'll just do some thinning like yeah, you said. If anything, a little thinning. Yeah, maybe. you can see where it's uneven. Yeah, and we'll just and even we'll them out it. a little bit. And even, what them. about this? I think this is kind of, if we just shape that tiny bit, yeah. mm -hmm. I think we're good we're, with the length. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he doesn't have a whole lot there. Yeah, maybe just, no. We don't want to take it too, too short. Just to give yeah. him a, just a, a little looks, bit of like... It looks sharp. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Almost a little um, poodly. Where's your thinners? Are you ready to go, aren't you? Okay. Yeah. Well, chunkers? Well, I gotta give them chunker chunker. So, we're gonna. I brought my shears for Rudy to try because I'm really, really excited for him to try my shears. And you know what, guys? I, I've never used the Kenchi shears, and, you know, Amy's sapphire shears. I, I tested them and they feel phenomenal and uh, in all honesty though I'm gonna give you my honest opinion though you know and like no lie you know because you, know, you have to be honest I have to be honest you know yeah. and and, and uh, you know but from what I felt so far they feel s beautiful they're smooth they got that uh, micro what, what is it micro serrated edge that micro serrated edge and it that, when you get on the coat yeah. you'll feel it grab the coat yeah so that micro serrated edge is just this tiny little edge that's super super sharp these shears aren't gonna because they're a 52 tooth okay they're they're really a, just a very soft blend so they're, they're not, not going to be here? aggressive yeah they are actually they're great okay. for the face mm -hmm. but on the body we may say now we want something more aggressive right okay. they're not going to take much okay so i'm just 
the one thing with shears, right, with thinning shears that I find one of the big mistakes that people make is they do this pull away. And it's when you that I know. No, but when you <laughs> so when you I'm gonna go put myself in the corner. <laughs> when when you when you pull away, thin, thinning shears generally they they cut slowly. They're, they they don't slice. They kind of just they, they just take little bits of hair off at a time for a more natural look. Right. But because of that, they actually grab the hair more than cut it. So they're designed to kind of do a lot, a couple of clips, as opposed to clipping and pulling, where you're going to actually be pulling the dog's. Well, it's know. dragging it through. Yeah. Yeah. So, if anything, the, let me tell you something. No lie, guys. These are freaking awesome. I just want to wipe them real quick. A they feel boy. good. Oh, they feel so good. They, good. They feel good in your hand. Yeah. Well, I, I, you have your little, your thumb oh, thing in there. Oh, you don't do the finger wraps. No, but okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, I have small thumbs. For the thumbs. inserts. But, I do. My but, fingers get lost but, in them. But like, look, look at where you, like, look at where you can get in. It's so smooth there. Yeah. You know, you can really just kind of use the tip. tips. Like yeah, a shear should be. Yeah. And you know. I love that. Can't she? Can't she do this? Fantastic job. This is a great thinning shirt. Like, no lie. That and, looks nice. Yeah, and I want. I, I don't want to. Just the right amount. I don't want to cut doing. too much off of his muzzle because you don't want to start exposing his nose. He you has could, a long one. <laughs> yeah, and you could see here he already has like a little thinning on his nose. He never grows hair. Yeah, there. so never I don't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to like cut too much off of the nose, but. You know, yeah, if anything, that's, good idea. that's it. Like, that looks great. I like how you left a little bit of visor. Yeah, it's a, a real kind of <clears throat> look to the dog. Like, it's, it gives him a little expression yeah. versus taking this back. Yeah. It's not going to look the same. Yeah. So if we give him like yeah. that, that little oh, bit yeah. of visor, and again, by I'm, cutting in with I'm, the shears is I'm, what he did. I'm trying these um, these curves now. They're uh, an eight inch. These again feel phenomenal in my hand. Um, so I just nice. want to kind of just take a little bit off here, like that. You feel that grabbing the coat? Yeah. I can see it grabbing the coat. Yeah. So, look, look at in, in just That's, two in just two snips. I'm looking at have, it from like, the side, you know, and it looks great. Yeah. Like you don't want to cut too much more off. You kind of want to leave yeah. this, and then we'll just kind of start to blend this in nicely. Yep. Just round that in. Now on his cheeks here, mm -hmm. I've been kind of growing this out. So you, I still think we might want to tidy up a little here. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like like yeah. like just sort of tidy that into there mm -hmm. we could even use the blender yeah yeah that my blender might work good mm -hmm. for there or we may want to go to the chunker we might want to try my blender first to see if that's all we need just a soft blend do you want to try this one you want to try it Rudy yeah on the side see yeah. how you like that mm -hmm. definitely because now you're going to actually be removing a little more hair I want to see how you feel about that yeah, shear yeah. for that situation like like right here Amy you want me to just kind of? I'm just kinda... thinking that we should. I'm just thinking we should just blend mm -hmm. this a little. Just blend mm -hmm. so it. Yeah. Because it kind of looks like it was left, like we didn't yeah. finish it the so, last time. Yeah. So again, oh, that's nice. again with with the, with the thinners, we're not pulling. We're doing the job first and letting letting it cut first, and then then kind of letting go. It. Yeah. You know, I see a lot of people kind of doing this. A There's lot with shears within. That you can do that yeah, way, so, but not this pair. Yeah. This isn't made for that. Yeah. For yeah. the drag and pull, because yeah. it keeps slicing as it yeah. comes out. I mean, you can even just kind of move. That's good. Yeah, you can move along with it. Like and we this. can just blend right down into yeah. the neck hair right mm -hmm. from there. Yeah, and see, and what's going to happen? Take them off the lead. What What's going to happen with the thinners too? Get that out of your uh, way. Here. You stay, big boy. Here, Bubba. You want these? I got you home. Yeah. So what'll happen with the thinners too is that when you when you're doing this right, it's gonna the the coat is gonna stay there, but when you you're gonna comb it out, 
And, and now it flattens out a little bit. And then it'll flatten out. You'll 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 see. So you comb it out. It's, it's yeah, sitting in there. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You'll see more of what you've done once you've once you've combed it out. And you got to be really careful with these too because you don't want to grab skin either. You know. Yeah, the doodles. Yeah. And standard poodles have a lot of loose skin yeah. there. Nice job, buddy. But you see, like if we can create this little bit of like a. I just blended it all together. It yeah. Looks great. You know. And because he didn't have an abundance of face hair, head yeah. hair, I mm -hmm. think that was just the right amount. And and these things are blending so nicely. You're tired. Oh, yeah, gosh. they're meant to be more of a soft blender, like to, mm -hmm. to just almost like I call them the magic blenders. So here, it's like it just blends those lines away. Yeah. Do do your thing. Do my side. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Yeah. So I'm going to match. He's already looking pretty. He looks great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to match what Rudy just did. And you can see my side just from being in a hurry last time grooming him. I actually left more over here. You can see it. So I need to fix that. I need to make it match this side. So I'm going to come in here and tidy that out a little bit to match this. And then I'm going to come up in here a little tighter. Because we want our sides to match. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to lay the ear out of the way. I don't want to pull it up because it changes the line of his eye. You see that? Mm. So I just want to lay it. Look down, buddy. And looking at him straight on, I'm going to come at it this way. I'm just going to kind of do a round circle into that. Oh, I like what you're doing there. He's just trying to match that's that. A, that's a tough angle. <laughs> it's a weird one. That you're achieving. I think it's important to look at them head on yeah. so you can match to the other side. And, and like step back sometimes and look at your work so you, you know. <clears throat> yeah, when you step what, back, you see yeah, things you, you see, didn't see up yeah, close. Like, oh, wow. Or, or you know, sometimes you, you get, you start getting mesmerized. <laughs> what you're, you know, like, Jeff, I should have stopped. Yeah, has ever happened to you? It's like, oh, my oh gosh, God, what yes. do I do? <laughs> so I'm going to tilt him up a little. I need to tighten this in a little to match Rudy's side so that they look the same. Um, okay, bud. So I'm going to just sort of blend a little bit of that off, blend a little bit of this off. Tighten this, tighten it up in there. And we're kind of blending this together that a little looks better. Really good, Amy. Thank you. This looks cool. But you know what? The, it's, the tools make our job so much easier sometimes. If I was going at all this with a straight shear, I'd be going back and forth, evening yeah. up the sides. It's so much easier with a blender. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to come in here and kind of thin this down a little so it lays nicer. He has some curl in there, just some weird curl. Not curl curl, but it's a weird curl. And it lays a little awkward at times. Like that curl, I'm just going to tease it a little out and it'll, it'll lay flat then. So coming over here. And we're just going to tidy up here like to match Rudy's side. Just lay that air out of the way. Rudy said you want to comb the hair out because there may be some in there that's puffing it up and it's actually flatter than what we think. So I, I don't know, I'm looking, I think they match pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. It looks, it looks cute. good. Good boy. Yeah. I'm up on the side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If anything, Amy, hit, you can hit me a little more on this side. Tight, tighten it up a Just little? Just a tad, there's a few, but okay. it looks good. It looks pretty much the same. Over here, make sure that it's the same. Yeah. Maybe just right there. Right, you see that one. Right in front spot. of. Yeah. That I actually right now I I know what I want to cut. Yeah. And I am going to pull the air up because mm. this is baggy skin. Yeah. And I don't want to get it in my blade. Yeah. 
So at this point, I know what I want to cut. I'm going to tauten up the skin, and I'm going to just blend it together in there so you, everything just flows. That looks good. Now, the only other thing I saw on the face, yeah. you can see it. You mm -hmm. saw it, didn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. Sure. It's a little uneven. Yeah. We can do it with blenders, or we can do it with yeah. straights or curves. What yeah. do you think? How would you want to do it? Either way will do it. Yeah. You can do it with any of them because he has that little bit of a I would say curly the, coat. I would say maybe the blenders only because if we do it with shears, it, you're going to see a lot of lines. You will. And it'll be easier for us to match each other's work with blenders, I think. <clears throat> I'm just going to come under the chin a little bit and tidy everything up there. It's a little, a little loosey there. And there again, he has a weird curl. I'm going to take it off because it just stands straight out. I'm just scissoring off with my blending shear these weird places. And this is the, the Sapphire 7.5 inch 52 tooth. This is only sold by Kenji on their website. Or you can buy it at shows too. Sometimes. It's not always at the shows. You can order them at the shows, I guess. We just took a little, but was that enough? You want to... Yeah. Touch it up. Are you happy with it? I'm, I'm happy with it. One thing I do a lot is in here. Mm -hmm. See how dogs all have this tight yeah. flow? Yeah. So if you pull that back and you just carefully blend it off, because it just bags up in there. Mm. And get rid of that. And it when the, the, the lip is curled, that hair sticks out the opposite yeah. direction. It sticks out longer, so I straighten well, up. Well, you're, you're more courageous than me. I would actually opt to do that with a clipper. You could. You I know? used to and always do it with a 10 blade. Yeah. Only, always, always, always. Yeah, only. And I would, you know what? It's a good point. I would recommend to the audience if they were going to do it that they did use a 10 blade. Yeah, a tad bit safer. Right in there. But, it, but if you're comfortable with that and you're as skilled yeah. as Amy is here, you can do it that way. But, you know. You might want to just use a safer it. route's the ten blade. Yeah, just the corner blade. of the ten blade running along that yeah, lip. Yeah. And then a, keep that tidy. Yeah. So where do we move on next, Rudy? What should we do? Should we? You call it. You choose the this. next area. Why don't, why don't we give him a head break? Because okay. we're fussing with his head That's so true. much. That's true. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll lose him. Oh. Here. And we'll give him a little break on his face. Because you stay on one thing too long, and they, they tend to get tired. And why don't we, do a, do. Why don't we do a little leg work? And then, okay. And then we can come back to his head and, like, you know. Tie in the tie, neck? Yeah, tighten it up, and we'll, we'll, and we'll do his, uh, his mane there and, and his head. But you know what I'm saying? Maybe, oh, yeah. Maybe we'll just. Uh, you're, always, <clears throat> you're always thinking just a little bit more considerately than I do when I'm grooming. And I thought I was pretty considerate when I groomed him. Well, dog. he's your dog. Yeah. But. What should we do? You wanna? You you wanna start with the back leg and we make you, the back leg match the front leg. Why don't we? You wanna do one leg? I do one leg. Yeah. And we'll do it like that. Yeah. Which leg you? you I gonna, don't care. Whichever one you pick. Do you usually do your feet first or your leg first, Rudy? You know, on something like this, what I, you know what, I'm just, I'm gonna switch to my guides only because I'm. You're very comfortable. In them. Yeah. So on something like this, I'll, I will I will turn my curves and I I'll I'll do this. Oh yeah. I'll come in like that, and then you know I'll I'll do like the ins I like to get the inside done. First. First, you know, and. Uh, You got nice scissor skills, Rudy. No. Uh, you do. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm do. not the best scissor. Very accurate. Scissors. No. You know the thing here too is we want to get done because we want to give Gus a break. It's been a long day for oh, him, no. so yeah. we're not we're not we're not trying to be. So, well, so good thing he didn't have to start with a ton of coat and go. Through yeah, all but, that. but yeah. he, you know, 
we're always we're always looking out for for the dog and trying to uh, give the consider dog that, right? yeah always consider you know the dog's table time um, so here I would I would just he's so sweet great so then does he look good dad kind of daddy does he look nice looks good. Game is ignoring us, Garcia. All right, I'll oh, see. So curve that in a little bit, setting yeah. a little angle back in there. Yeah, at the bottom. I don't want to take too much off yeah. of the hawk, and then even here, you know, kind of. It's well, okay. He's so tricky, no, it's isn't okay. He? I, I won't even go near his. Uh, what? Oh. Well, don't mess up, Rudy. So here, honey. So then, what we'll do is. Stay bubble. Okay, stay bubble. Just want to get this a little better. See, I'm watching and him then, intently because I got to match. And then, Rudy and I have to match each other. Like if I do one side of something, he has to match it and vice versa. So we're going to make this groom look like one person did it. I'm trying to just take here. So, I may have taken a little too much off. Not from oh. what I'm looking at, it looks real nice. See there again, you're right up close, Rudy. I'm looking at yeah. it from a distance and I see a nice shape. You can use a blending shear to fix that. Nice job, Rudy. Now it looks like a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing. I see how you, I see the shape you're, you're going for that kind of competition foot where it's like, boom, and they're standing on their toe, right? Yeah, yeah. kind of. I see that. So you can get the rest of it I just like from it. the other. He, he really is tiring. He does this typically yeah. though, believe it or not. He's, so, he's a so little bit of a do, ramming do, one. Do your leg. Do my leg? Yeah. Okay. And then, you know, just, just to speed up the process. I'm going to use my curve. Yeah. Because I do think that curve on the leg is real nice, especially where we're putting some slight little angles in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to comb up just to see where it's bulky and then I'm going to comb it back down. It's bulky here and there. All right. And I also got Match Rudy. So. That will be that go. He, he could bring it, honey. He'll just lay and chew on it. He's gonna make a mess. You got your Kong, big boy. <laughs> Here's your good old Kong. <laughs> he got all the food out of that? He got it all out. He worked hard. <laughs> Stay, big boy. All right, so now I gotta match this. I'm gonna turn my shears in this way. Your He's like, yeah, go ahead, make my day, take my call. And I'm not gonna try to mess you up here. I'm just, we're, I'm starting this front. Go ahead. I know he's getting tired. It's okay. I just go for it. Thing. But we gotta get both of us on camera here. Yeah, yeah. We'll get you because you're there. Well. Alex is going to start his own YouTube channel just to take my viewers, he said. Yeah. I said I'm um, telling you, I told you. you my, my viewers are very loyal, honey. Yeah. They may love you, but yeah, they're they loyal. Their own channel. <laughs> it's just going to be sarcasm. And, and sarcasm 101. And pizza. And pizza. Yeah. How to down a pizza? Two point five tickets. Looks very handsome. That looks great. Boy, we do make a good team, Mr. Mm -hmm. Rudy. Yeah. Yeah, he's coming over. It's great. funny watching Rudy go from happy go lucky and then, serious. And then he it, got real serious when we business. started grooming. All of a sudden it was business, man. You know, I noticed that too. You got real serious. Yeah. I don't know it's that he like got serious, but definitely focused. He's focused. Because 
I'm, uh, because we're paying clients, he's <laughs> charging us. Yeah, you guys didn't know that, but they're being charged even for the pizza. $300. <laughs> yes. Um, I faked them out. I said I was paying for the pizza, and then, then, I, then I stuck them for the bill anyway. <laughs> Not to mention what we're going to charge for the dog. He stole my credit oh, card right. number. Yeah. Which I stole from somebody else anyway. Yeah, and <laughs> I don't think for one second, you know, we're not going to take their truck too. They have a really nice truck, guys. Yes. <laughs> We've had well, one truck stolen already. Home. We did. That's a that's another video. That's a topic for another video. We had our truck, our white F two fifty, stolen right out of our driveway in a nice little rural town in Pennsylvania. We still got the door of the ignition lock. Yeah, they threw really? that in the driveway. They threw that in the driveway. Yeah. The truck. The truck. And yeah. then after I watched the video on YouTube, you'd be surprised how fast they'd steal that. You know, we watched a video, how, how the heck was this done? You know, and there was actually a video showing us how somebody would have stolen it. Gus, you sound so mean. I got my con. Does everybody see? I got my con. This is what I got. I got a Kong. A big bulldog. Sometimes you gotta say stop and move on or you'll just keep nipping away to the point where you mess up your work. Well, we did a good job of skimming. There's not like, there's really not a lot of scissor work to tie this together. No. So are these your shears that you usually typically groom with, Rudy? Are these yeah. your? Those are mm -hmm. his. Yeah. Your bad ones. Yeah, and I just sharpen them. So they're ready. Got, well, we didn't get to the chest yet. We got to tie yeah, that I in. Just, I just did a did little bit. Did you start? Bit, uh, just a okay. tap. Okay. But I, just, I worked on this front leg a little, Amy, so you can do your other leg there. And we could, uh, I'm just going to tidy up his face a little with the scissors. Yeah, anything you see, just go mm -hmm. at it. Do my outline with a straighter curve and then I'll come in and make it all blend together my chunk or shear in a scissor action. Oh yeah. You've got to try this Rudy. They look like they cut like and look, there's just no scissor line. Like chunk. Because I'm not, I'm Those not a competition. I'm not a competition yeah. groomer, but I know the shape I want. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah, not. I can't just go out. and make it happen. Your leg came out great. My, I oh, it's got smoke. It's. Uh, well, you got to try these. Any areas that are of concern to you, I want you to try these. I think you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Scissoring with these chunker shears. I just want to take this like a little shorter. Thing. Your thing. I'm just rounding this around. open up a business together and scissor every dog together. <laughs> you know, yeah, and we'll just char charge like, you know, $500 a dog and do two sure. dogs a day. Everybody will pay that. <laughs> of course they will. 
Because it's us. But it's Amy and Rudy. Okay, bud. So I'm going to round that in a little bit. That's still bad. Stop. This is my worst leg, too. I have a hard time. It's okay, bud. He has some odd bends to his legs, so we are actually doing a little camouflage mm -hmm. grooming. Did you notice that on the mm -hmm. legs, Rudy? Yeah. They're, they're a little easty-westy in different places. And yeah. So we're leaving hair some places to kind of camouflage that. Yeah. And because he's, a, like squirmy on his front he's legs. He's very squirmy. We tend to, you know, you, you, the front legs are a little, coming out a little fuller than the back legs. You know, yeah. Only, only because But when we step back and look, we yeah. look, do we like? Yeah. Um, I'm going to pick this leg up. Give it a shake, let the hair fall out. Mm -hmm. Kind of round it up into the front. Just to it was a little thick, my leg was. Yep. And I'm, I'm going to look at it dead on this way. I'm going to look at it dead on this way. Good boy, I guess. Hang on. It's definitely groomers are, is it contortionist? Mm -hmm. Where you can just whip your body into all kinds of weird places. And still manage to get something done. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. I think, I think our front legs look great. Yeah. They look like they match good. Mm-hmm. Okay. They do. For the most part, I, th I think so. Mm-hmm. I rounded the feet. I was rounding around the feet. There wasn't a lot to trim on the feet. Did you notice, Rudy? No, because you, so you trimmed them already. We really should just kind of came around and rounded it up a little, and it's fine. Should we get to his head? Yep. I'm going to need a stool. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I was, yeah. I was like, I'm like, you do it. Well, I need Because <laughs> Do you groom on a stool? Yeah, um, no, he's a tall guy. He's though. tall. You usually do smaller dogs. That's right. Do you, do you want... You we want can also to... put him on the ground and he'll, he's good. Do you want me to start his head, Amy? Sure. Or do you want to do his head? No, not really. It doesn't matter. You know what we're going for. We talked about it. Don't mess it up, Rudy. I'm just, try. I'm just kidding. I am going to try not to. You are not going to mess it up. Very nice. I do want you to try these. On his head? I, no, well, you can. I use them on his whole body. But you're probably pretty accurate with those curves on the head. I'm getting a little like that. Uh, uh, tunneled. I just I don't want to take this head too short either. Come on. Come be able to get above them. I can't even see to, to do that. 
shorty. Y'all look good, bud. Oh, I didn't do my chest. You know, the only thing I find different about grooming together, like us doing this uh, one dog, is usually when you're on your own, yeah. you, you follow your own pattern, like you, you follow your steps. Yeah. I do this, we're and I jumping do three, around. and we're jumping around, and I'm like, yeah. why do you do the chest? You, normally you would do a flow, and you wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't det detour from it so that you right. knew you didn't forget a step. Right, yeah, we're just jumping around. But, you know, we're also trying to get it done, too, though, you know. It had, we got here about 11 today. It's yeah. now 6, yeah. almost 6. And, yeah, we, we it's been a long day for the dogs. We have both Little yeah. Gus and Big Gus with us. and That's right. Like, we... Yeah, he really has to put this flamer out in front of the video. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Your groom cut, cut short because you guys were chit-chatting. Yeah, we, we were just having a good time talking and talking shop and talking products and laughing and we're like you know what we got we got a dog to groom exactly <laughs> this is this is the hardest part of it all is this that part yeah. is the very especially on his coat yeah. and his his back dips mm -hmm. his coat's a little dippy there it's just it's hard to make that work i'm gonna tell you a little bit the tent a little should i stay on this amy Sure, you having fun? Yeah. You're having fun. You're I have, well. To be honest with you, I haven't done this much scissoring in a really oh, long time. Oh, then you are having fun. <laughs> Come on, Amy. I have to have you try the chunker shear because you've mm -hmm. never tried a chunker shear, and I want to yeah. hear what you feel about chunker shears. Yeah, I'll try them on the front legs. Buddy, let me okay. see you. I'm going to tidy up right over here. I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. Yeah, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Okay. Anthony, you get really serious too when the camera's on. You stop talking. Well. We'd like to hear from you too. You guys look so cool. Grooming together. I don't want to ruin it with my stupid voice. Oh, that's <laughs> not true. Oh God! Why are they even behind the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really working. I'm just standing in weird positions for about an hour. I've been hanging out with Alex. All yeah, I've been hanging out with Alex. <laughs> uh, and here we go. <laughs> You might want to get this on camera. How I just tidied up the one half of his his butt with these chunkers, and I, I would I think everybody would appreciate seeing this. So you can see what I did. This is tidied up. This isn't. Mm. So now I'm gonna make this side match this side, and I'm basically just scissoring with my chunker shear the shape that I want. I'm coming out on that little shelf that we created from following the the bone structure of the dog to give him angulation. These chunkers are just like magic erasers, honestly. Really? Oh yeah, you're gonna love them. See, I, I did all that with these chunker shears. I didn't use this straight, but if you look at it from the side, every angle, you just see how tight his rear is now. I mean, and from a distance, stop it, Alex. Let's get a muzzle for you. What's he doing? He's making fun of the words I'm using. She said tight rear. Right. <laughs> That is Apparently, Anthony oh, picked right up on that, too. Oh, yeah. I was holding back laughing, so I can't really judge Alex. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome to the dark side. <laughs> 
So do you see that? You see that, Anthony? He's standing. You see a little bit of, doesn't it just pop his rear? Oh, it's tight. Okay, okay. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I won't say that again. <laughs> say it one more time. No, I'm not going to say it. That's one tight rear. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and Rudy kind of cut down to the toe like this, so I need to match that. Maybe should I trim the ear a little? You can. Okay. You sure you can do whatever if you want to shorten it? Uh, you I can shorten it. I don't want to shorten it to it. I'm just going to give it a cut just so that. So Rudy came down and then he came straight down right here in front of the, just to make it look like he's a little more on toe. So I had to match that and I liked it. I like what he did, so it works. We made it work. I think we're literally making it look like one person might have groomed this dog and not sure. two. It's good. So what are you doing with the ears there? Maybe we should get that on camera. Um, Are you just tidying up? Or? Yeah, I'm just just a slight trim, you know, just so that it looks scissored, so he looks new, fresh. Yeah, like he's nicely freshly trimmed. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow! Oh. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, buddy, you got groomed by Rudy. Oh, and Amy. Look at you. Oh, yeah, I've never been buddy. groomed by Rudy. Wow, what a moment. I so mean, yeah, let me see those chunkers. I mean, I, yeah, you know, I usually look around the seat. Mm -hmm. I gotta fix my chest. It looks great. Yeah, it does look it great. really good. I'm happy. Ooh, you tied that in nice. A little. I I figured I'd just start it. Yeah. Can I, can I try these chunkers? Do it. So if you use them like a scissor, it just magically, no scissor marks is what you're going to really? get from it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. I like this. Wow. you got to get a pair. Now, that's the Kenji Love, which is only a $99 shear. Mm -hmm. And I use that shear I like every this. day on so many coats. Yeah. So many haircuts. I love it. Wow. It's really cool. Because it acts just like a scissor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like it gives it you that tiny bit of forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like Whereas it a lot. straight shears, it's done, it's done. <laughs> oh, Gus. Oh, he looks, You're he so looks amazing. Sweet. Thanks for tolerating us, Gus. You're oh, such a good boy, Gus. You are so <laughs> look good. Look at you. I love you. I love you, Gus. I love you. Oh, you're such oh, a your good Oh, your breath boy. is stinky, Gus. That's okay. I don't care. Hey, listen, I love you, too. I love you, too. Amy, are we almost done with it? Yeah, you know what I... We are. And what I like to do... Why don't we get... Do you want to do a 360 around him, Anthony? And then I'll show you guys what I like to do with him specifically when I get him down because he's so big. Amy, I'm just going to do this real quick. Is this Sorry. okay that I just... Yeah, whatever you want to do. Just get this little... Oh, so the hair. He looks a little more done. Nice. Hey, your ears look good. You look nice, buddy. We're filling the ears in on the top. Uh -huh. I trimmed them real short, so we just kind of ignored that today. <laughs> Pretend yeah. that's still growing, right? But he looks great. He does. You he know, looks for, really good. For a quick scissor, you know, Hell like yeah. first time grooming together, I, I think he but looks. No, no. I think he looks awesome. You know, what do you need? You guys did a nice job. I don't care. All what right, you, would you pay us, <laughs> Alex? Get out the wallet. How, Somebody's got to pay this bill. I don't care what. I don't have money. I don't care what Anthony says. I gave one to a groomer. Nobody cares what I say. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes, buddy. Looks good. Oh, oh you look so good, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> 
probably both stand here together to get a thumbnail. He can yeah. pull that out of the thumbnail. You said you wanted to, me to do a 360? Yeah. Amy. No, just go around them. Go around them. Amy, do you ever use Shoshin? Uh, Shoshin, I, that's the shampoo and conditioner? No. Or the, the spray? This is like the, the, um, the finishes. It's for horses. I have never used that. No, I do know what it is. Okay, so I've never here. used it. Do you mind if I use it on him? Oh, no, go okay, ahead. So, demonstrate it. Yeah, we don't want to... Hold on. I have it here. We don't want to uh, spray too much on his head. I mean, and, and you don't want to comb it. You definitely don't want to comb his head after. It's just like a little a little spritzer like that because it'll... Yes, I've seen that. So I've never tried it. It's it's just basically like... Um, it smells nice. It's armor all for dogs. <laughs> okay. It, it's, you know... <laughs> it'll it'll just really so oh, look at you, bud. Holy moly. So here, so if you if you feel them now, it just it'll just feel you know, you know silkier. Oh yeah. Really, That's a good product. Yeah, I, I swear by That's it. That's a good product. Nice to Ab just just send them out here looking like a polished yeah. piece of art. Uh absorb vine or something is the company Absorbine. Oh shoot, look at my shoes. See my shoes? Oh, Look at my shoes. Here. <laughs> we'll get it off then, don't worry. Good girl, baby. Good boy, guys. Good boy, guys. Yeah, good oh, boy. Hi. Stay. Get it out of your system, but okay, stop. Come here. Big Gus. Come here. Stay. Stay. And because he's a big boy, I like him to stand. I like to get him down. Stay. I like to get him down and look at him from the top. Your boy you did a great job, Rudy. Holy crap. Look at that. Stop. And just see that the head flows right down to the neck. And this looks nice. If there's anything that I would need to do at this point, this is a great angle for me to see and make sure that he looks symmetrical when I'm looking, standing on top of the dog, you know, because normally the dog is standing right beside us, you know, so we would really see any flaws from this angle. This isn't an angle we usually look at from a groomer perspective. So this just tells me, yeah, his, this is a very, very symmetrical trim. It looks great. Wow, that neck turned out great. Oh, yeah, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Good boy. Good boy. Holy crap. I know, they're so mean. Big Gus. Especially we did good. You did it, Good Gus. job! I'm so proud of you! I'm oh, so oh, proud of you! Yes! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Oh, you did so much work!